If it keeps going down for long enough, we'll eventually no longer be losing money, but we'll be making it. However, our demand for some commercial where people can spend their money is starting to increase. So what I'm going to do is throw down a little bit of commercial over here. Let's see here, a little bit of that. And that's all I'm gonna do for now. Plunk down some stores for people to spend their money at. And that should also help the economy. Because, as you can see, we have a number of people coming here now. I'll look at the info view later. Right now, our city is small enough that I just want to f focus on the little things. And I'm going to drop the game speed down to one speed. As this is something that I really like doing in the early game, when our city's not even really a city. It's just a little hamlet, or just like a tiny little village. I just like staying zoomed in and focusing on the little things that are happening, and watching things unfold because that's one of the really nice things you can do with city skylines is just how you handle things and even just names and everything it tells a really neat story and I love the way that sort of thing can happen oh and by the way if you would like to have a road or, or a district named after you or you have a specific name you want to give one post it in the comments and I'm more than willing to consider your suggestion I'm not saying I'll say yes but I'm not saying I'll say no either our, our money situation is is really a struggle right now but we will very soon reach the point of financial sustainability, I think. Provided things keep on this way, because the amount of money we're losing is decreasing. It's now only minus 150, when not too long ago we were minus 1,000. Our financial situation is stabilizing, and soon we can start to no longer have to worry about the fact that we may potentially go bankrupt, and instead focus on developing our city into a place that people want to live, get some proper industry going, and expand and make it a nice place that they want to be, rather than just, this is our home, I guess we have to deal with it. By the way, oh no, I can't do that yet. What I was thinking is that I wanted to make an additional road connecting back to the roundabout so that 
people could go directly from the industry to the highway to export their goods because if this is the only road they have to access our industrial zone this is going to get clogged up and become a serious traffic bottleneck and yes we have profit our city is now turning a profit at long last we're making money but we have our first issues here. A couple of our cities do not have enough workers. Well, I'm sorry, but there's not really much I can do about that. You'll just have to be patient. More people are moving in as we speak. So I'm sure you'll get enough workers soon. But now... Our money situation has stabilized. We're in the green. We are fucking in the green. Oh yeah. Mula 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 mula. No disasters, fortunately. I'm gonna keep this panel open basically all the time. I don't always remember the <clears throat> to open the important bits, though, so <clears throat> you'll probably have to deal with that. And soon we will cross the 1,000 cash mark. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> quick thing to mention. <clears throat> I am American, so I will probably refer to the currency as dollars, even though that's obviously not what it is. I may also call it simoleons. <clears throat> We have power problems now, and I don't have enough money to build another wind turbine, which we need. Let's see. I need a population of 420. To level up, and we need 6,000 in money to be able to build another turbine or 19,000 for a coal power plant that creates pollution though but it's something worth considering for now however we're going to wait and see if I can't hit that population mark for an upgrade and therefore some additional cash before people decide they hate me and start moving out because if I can just get an additional wind turbine we can solve this issue. But right now I don't have enough money. And we are a little hamlet now. So, what does this give us? Well, it has unlocked the ability to alter the taxation of different zones, although if you put it above a certain level, they will start to get pissed off because the taxes are too high. Because everyone hates paying taxes, clearly. You can also take out loans. So, if there's a severe emergency and we need a little bit of extra cash, then we can take out a loan to help us with that. It's also unlocked three new services, as well as the desire to have them. They've unlocked... Garbage disposal, health care, and education. So now that these have been unlocked, people will start to accumulate garbage, and they will expect services to be in place to start to collect their garbage and get rid of it for them. Health care has been unlocked, so people will expect there to be hospitals, or clinics in this case, and they will start getting sick and need clinics to survive. 
and education has been unlocked. Along with schools. So, the local populace is going to start to expect the existence of schools to educate their children. And some of the employers are going to start to expect to have more educated workers. And if you don't educate enough of them, you'll start to get a malice for your... <clears throat> for certain businesses, not enough educated workers. Because they expect their people working for them to have a certain level of education. And we've unlocked a bunch of buildings to cater to these needs. The school and clinic can wait a little bit. The one I always put down first is the landfill site, because garbage will start to accumulate a lot faster than sick people or the desire for education. So those can wait a tiny little bit. But we need a landfill site, and we need another wind turbine. The other things can wait a little bit. So, what I am going to do... First things first... We're going to put down a landfill site here. Right over the industrial zone. Then, I will plunk down a wind turbine. Right now, eight is the best we can get for power. So I want to go for that. There is a more advanced form of wind turbine that can get you even more power that you put on the water. But it requires a population of almost 2,500, so that's going to have to wait. I could also put down a medical clinic now, since I have the cash for it. But... I want to wait. Fortunately, that solved our power problems see here. Not enough workers is still going on. Let's see something. Do I need to expand? Yeah, there's starting to be some demand for more places to live. So I am going to expand on this. We'll put in some housing in these little locations here. Fortunately, it's connected, so that'll just start to draw power from the existing grid. And we've already established the water network up there, so there'll be no problems for that. And fortunately, I did actually get the directions for where the water is flowing correct, so we're not pumping shit into people's drinking water or anything. I'm sure they appreciate that. And now, we can start to put up some additional places to live. Yes, the construction crews have arrived, and they're starting to build some extra houses to cater to the additional population, because people like New Tech City, it seems. Word's getting around that it's not a bad place to be living, so a few people have decided they want to move in.
and we have a reasonably healthy economy. I'm approaching an income of 500 a week. And a population growth of about 50. Speaking of which, what do we need to get to the next level? Worthy Village is a population of 850. And that'll give us a new area to work from. As well as we can get more loans, actually start to be more specialized. Swiss and stuff. And that will unlock services districts, as well as services. And I'll be able to specialize my industry. So if, then, if I wanted to, I could have, like, farmlands, forestry, and all sorts of stuff, depending on what sort of resources are available. And we seem to be fixing our not enough workers issue for the most part. Speaking of roads, though. That should help us with the dump trucks. Because they need to collect the waste from here. And establishing a road so that they can collect it that much faster. It should help mitigate the problems they're having, since I prefer to establish my waste sites in the industrial zones. Since landfills, generally, the populace of your cities does not like living near landfills. So, that is why I prefer to keep the landfills and the living areas separate. Because not doing so, people don't like it very much when they have to live near to somewhere where their trash is being kept. Most folks are not fond of this. So, I have seen to it they don't have to live near it. And this road will let the dump trucks collect it that much faster rather than having to go that way. Something about a meteor? Eh. There's getting to be a little bit more need for uh, commercial. I forgot the name for a second. Basically, stores and places to spend the money. There's a little more need for that now. Let's see. We've got about three more megawatts in our grid than we're making use of. Though I don't expect it to stay that way for a long time. Right now, what we have is a cozy little place to live that lots of folks seem to like. Hmm. Oh, right. I meant to do this sooner, but we need us a hospital. So, we'll put a hospital here in among the shops. so our citizens can get themselves some health care and not die of the common cold or some such nonsense. Hmm. But now I'm having power problems. 
So, right now my power needs appear to be relatively balanced. I don't like them balanced. I would prefer if I had more power than I was using. That said, uh, they probably won't stay this balanced for very long, so... I need to wait until we get 6k in moolah again and buy another wind turbine. Or I could wait until we get 19k and pick up a coal power plant. It does output a massive 40 megawatts of power after all, as opposed to the paltry 0 to 8. Although it is a good deal more pollution y. So that's something to consider. Albeit not something I'd like to do, but I may have to. But for now, our main interest is over here. But the building continues to give our new residents places to live. Speaking of which, let's see if I can't manage to do this properly. That would be thirty two sixty. I do that, then another hop to over there, then down to there. It would be kind of expensive, but I could run a line over to the exit to the city, but no. For now, I'm going to wait until I can buy another grid. Because once I can get somewhere else, I'll have hopefully the ability to more easily access the highway. And just run a line of direct access from my industrial to the city itself. Hmm. And right now we have a little circle here. So I'm going to start moving people into this little circle and some of the outside bits not along these roads though not going to move people into there fortunately the places that we've got them moving in yep they should Let's double check that. Yeah, they're all covered by my power and water services. And now we're getting some more need for commercial. I like to watch fires. Hashtag just watching. Yeah, I totally believe that. Definitely. For surezies. Really. I believe you. Definitely. Absolutely. All those words that mean that, even though I'm actually bullshitting you. And I don't believe you in the slightest, and I'm planning to turn you in as an arsonist at the first chance I bloody get. By the way... Wind turbine. Hmm... 
I'm producing 24 power right now. And most of our ka went on that wind turbine. We're the village at a population of 850. We're getting there. Our city is reaching towards the point where it's an actual city, rather than just a random stop 